the 15th of August 1914, an amazing engineering feat was achieved with the opening of the Panama Canal. It's a series of six locks, three up and three down, that connect the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean. Today it's one of the busiest shipping routes in the world, so it was a slightly daunting prospect to take Kilauea on this part of the journey. We're just approaching Cristobal Harbour, which is the Atlantic side of the Panama Canal, so we're about an hour away from there, just on the radio call. Um, and we've got something like just under 100 ships on our AIS, so they're absolutely everywhere. Because this is just a fraction of them, there's loads on the horizon, just dozens and dozens of ships. I've never seen so many ships in the um, And they're all waiting to go through the canal. So we're going to go through the breakwater and go to Shelf Bay Marina and then tomorrow we're going to get measured up for the canal crossing which every ship or boat has to do. But this is the last time we're in the Caribbean Sea so this boat has spent its entire life in the Atlantic effectively and um, once we're through the breakwater we're in the canal system so it's, a good, it's kind of bittersweet. It's pretty exciting that we're he heading towards the canal but it's also a bit sad to be saying goodbye to the Caribbean for the last time on this boat. Yeah, I just can't wait to get into the Panama Canal. It's the biggest infrastructure project the world's ever seen, probably. So, being an infrastructure guy, I'm kind of... I don't think I've ever been this close to a ship before when it's at full speed. Be careful, eh? All vessels that go through the canal are required to be measured. It turns out it's a technical thing this because we thought it might be done with a laser or some other wizardry but the good old tape measure seemed to suffice. Beautiful. 1.7. 1.7, okay, okay. Beautiful. Can I Beautiful. Go right? 11. <laughs> 1. 1.7. Yeah. Very good, huh? Very good. Do you have provisions on board? Yes. I'm from Panama, right? Right. Okay, good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, Alex. What about the draft? Sounds like we need more provisions to pay to, um, to no. feed you. <laughs> uh, the draft of the boat. Do you want it in meters or feet? No, meters. It doesn't matter. One point four five. One point four five. Okay. What about the weight of the boat? You know, I need to, to know the displacement. Uh, Many times. Twelve times. Twelve times. Okay. Good. Metric. Oh, very good, friend. Keeping me on edge, my friend. Good, 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 good. <laughs> Are you sure these are big enough? <laughs> <laughs> big cojones! Oh boy! Hey. She knows Spanish, man. She knows Spanish. She knows Spanish. That's a good thing. Oh, hi. That's some big ropes. Whoa. It's all good at yeah. this, is, this is my name and Mariano, okay? He's coming with us. Too. Yes. But I, I, I know for sure that you will be rafted with another boat. Okay. So but you will have Mariano and, and put your strongest guy on the stern. Yeah. And, and, and one of the ladies just standing by. Okay. Alright. Mariano know everything. So he, he knows what it's all about. Defenders. Defenders, you need to put defenders at the belly of the boat. The belly? Yes. The middle? Yes. Yeah. Right? Put defenders, put them, you know, spaceful, you know? Yeah. Uh, and then you can put yours in between. Yeah, I right. see. Yeah. But it's good when, you, uh, when you're in the locks, it's good for you to have good communication with the guy you wrapped it with. Yeah. Have good communication with him. Yeah. Speak to the guy, you know, look at the size. 
because sometimes if these guys mess up, you know, you can get messed up. Yeah. So you always have to be checking what this guy is doing. Yes. All right. If it's too bold, the one that have more engine power yeah. will be in control. Right. Well, if it's us and that boat, we've probably got more. We've got 100 horsepower that take or even a lot less than that. Yes. So you will be in charge. It's good. It's good that you're in charge. All right. Yeah. The advisor. When the guy comes on board, you treat him nice. You have this bottle of water for him. We've got it cooling in the fridge. Oh, good, 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 good. Yeah. You treat him nice. We treat him better than they treat me as captain. Oh my God. Oh, I know, no respect. Oh. Just since the advisor stay for dinner, very important. As the guy comes on board, yeah. you have your food prepared already? No, not ready yet. Well, if you can prepare something for this guy now, that would be, <laughs> that would be excellent because he's not going to stay for dinner. Ah, all right. And and, uh, and probably you ask him if he's hungry. If he's hungry, if you want to eat, you can dish whatever. So you have you have about an hour to prepare something. <laughs> How many meals a day do you he have? Eat? You have well, just one. <laughs> one of you have you have about one hour. You have about one hour and fifteen minutes. You know, just to have something for the guy. You know, you know, if you can do that, that would be excellent. So he needs to eat before five. <laughs> you don't want a hungry transit visor. Yeah, I don't want a hungry one either. <laughs> <laughs>felt quite relieved once Freddie had had his feed so he could focus on the job at hand of advising us through the canal. Got a big appetite there Freddie. We rafted up with Jim and the crew from Right Choice. From here, because Kilauea's engines are bigger, Alex took control of steerage for both vessels through all of the locks. the line handlers throw four lines, two from each side, to secure the vessel in each lock. Our job was to actually catch the line and secure it to the boat. How's my distance there? <laughs> Thanks, Tom.
end of day one, we'd gone through three locks and been lifted 85 feet. We spent the night moored in Lake Gatton and the next morning got up early to start the process all over again for the next three locks. Gatton Lake stretches for 31 miles. It was created by damming the River Chagres. This was necessary to make the operation of the locks actually work. This part of the transit was surprisingly pretty, even though we had container ships whizzing by. So we're just going through the Cal Calibra Cut uh, in the Panama Canal which is where a lot of people lost their lives. Um, it's the deepest cutting of the whole route. Um, they had to lower the land by about 45 meters. So a big highway job I worked on, we moved two and a half to three million cubic meters of material. Through this cut alone, they moved 75 million cubic meters of material uh, with steam shovels and trains and things like that. So it's a pretty, uh, pretty cool place and an amazing piece of engineering. And you can see the uh, beautiful cable stay bridge there as well. But look at the size of that cutting, absolutely massive. And then it's on both sides as well, so you've got this big. So this is where they kind of broke through between the Pacific and the Atlantic Oceans right here. We've just come into the lock and we're, which is lock number four, we're about to go down. This is the monster behind us and we're feeling extremely small. And he's still coming. Welded together roughly in the curve. Akira, you got this. Woo, that's it. <laughs> Just make sure it runs. If it gets caught in there, then. Yeah, that would be bad. That would be very bad. And there's Kilauea on the Panama Canal webcam. Join us for the next episode where we cross the equator and head for the Galapagos.